about you guys it is time for the digimon response here in round two part two uh and boy let me tell you digimon's got their work cut out for him because that last box from Yu-Gi-Oh. by the way if you didn't see that i'll leave a link down below in the description box uh Yu -Gi -Oh definitely cleaned up its act there did very very well almost broken into the triple digits actually that's how good that last Yu-Gi-Oh box did so it's it, it's smelling like a Yu-Gi-Oh victory here but you know we'll see uh, digimon does have at least one good high value card that if they pulled it right here actually it would uh make all the difference in the world and it's another jellymon so because there is a box top that's like 68 dollars so that's crazy to me but we just ended up pulling the three dollar jellymon so it's smelling like a Yu-Gi-Oh victory Yu-Gi-Oh did very well it box was not shaping up and then of course we pulled one of the most expensive secret rare so we'll see what digimon can at least do and hopefully mitigate some of that damage and uh, for those of you that don't know um the way i'm kind of doing it right now because there's a super rare in every freaking box and every pack i mean um the way i'm kind of doing it i'm just taking pretty much the top uh five or six dollar value cards um you know anything that's above that that 70 80 cent range somewhere in that neighborhood because all these other super rares they're literally worthless they're like a penny three cents five cents because a lot of these are just reprints and it's reprint and it has like a tech a new textured pattern or foiling whatever and it just it's pretty much worthless there's only a small handful of cards that are worth it so if they pull at least those cards those are the cards i'm taking for the value scale and that's how I get my numbers. And of course, I put all the pricing on the screen for you guys so you guys can see. Um, for any, you know, I remember this card too. Another Metal Rare. It's a secret rare, right? Yeah, that's a secret rare. Uh, for any Digimon fans, what is your opinion? If you guys don't feel, you know, hopefully you guys feel like sharing something with me. What is your opinion of this type of set? The Resurgence Booster. This is supposed to be just a full on set of all foils that are just cards that i guess needed to be reprinted um doesn't seem like it's really sitting well with the fans because these booster boxes a are very cheap and the cards inside are also very cheap but i just wonder if that's just because none of these cards are such easily available cards and all of them are getting reprinted and no one i don't think anybody was really Ooh, foxymon secret rare nice one there that's the alternative art so pull two secret rares here in this box I mean, the pull rates for this is, is, is very good for the Resurgence Booster, but I've seen a lot of mixed feelings, mixed emotions on social media, particularly on X or Twitter, formerly Twitter. Um, just people just not very thrilled with the idea of this whole Resurgence Booster. Personally, I think I actually, you know, I like reprints. I wish they would have just done some reprints and did a whole nother set. I think that's where a lot of people are getting annoyed is that it's not like a there's only a couple of new cards and those new cards that everybody really wants but for the most part all these cards in this set are straight up reprints uh they probably could have done this in its own little secondary set or they could have done certain type of reprints and just given us a whole set of new cards which they did not do so it doesn't feel like this is like a new you know a new set a new addition to the card game it just seems like here's a reprint and we're just gonna put a couple of new cards in it um Ooh, speaking of new cards, there's another new card. Dire Bitmon. Dire Bitmon. There we go. I can say that properly. I'm not the best with pronunciation. But, I, you know. Everybody's got their, you know, their opinions. And I think, I can see, I can see both sides of the argument. And that's what I'm saying. Like, if anybody is a Digimon fan or a fan of the card game, I would love to hear from some of you guys as well. Because, I mean, like I said, I, I, I get the argument, you know, I too, I think that what they should have done, they should have done like a good handful of reprints and they should have done a majority of the set should have been some new cards with uh, maybe like 25 to 50 reprinted cards, a couple of the rares, the super rares, a couple of uh, super rares, secret rares, that would have been fine somewhere in that neighborhood and then a bunch of it should have just been all new cards that could have been added to the actual game. I think, that's, I think that's the big complaint is that, like I said, this new set comes out and it's nothing we haven't seen before. I mean, these are all cards that we're all familiar with. These are all, majority of these cards are from sets one, two, and three. Majority of it's one and two. 
Uh, and then there was a couple from the classic set, which was set five, I think. And then I also noticed that a lot of these cards are also from like that. That's from a, uh, a special like deck box set, uh, the gift set. I see a lot of that kind of stuff. Promos. I see a lot of box toppers and dash packs. So personally, if you're going to do dash packs and you're going to do promos, I don't know why then you uh, turn around and make a set like this and reprint all of it. It kind of seems silly, but it is what it is. So, so far we did pull a secret rare and a alternative art secret rare, and we did get a Jellymon box topper. And then we pulled another alternative art, so as far as, like, pull rates go, I mean, this is pretty good, you know? But as far as the card that, you know, here's another card that holds at least decent value, like 60 cents value. The rest of those super rares that I keep pulling, I'm telling you guys, like, they're all worth 15 cents or less, so I'm not adding that. And I'm not going to do, you know, a price point or a price check on, you know, every single pack in here. That's just ridiculous. Like this card, too. It's wor worthless. It's, you know, it's just not worth to putting up the price point on that one. So I only put it on the cards that actually matter and on any of the reprints that actually matter. So I'm kind of treating this like it's a Yu-Gi-Oh box almost, even though we're getting, you know, a bunch of pulls. You know, you're getting a super rare in every pack. But I'm not counting every pack. And if I'm being completely honest too, I did not know that this set was doing that. Otherwise, I probably would have picked a different set. Lilithmon. Now, see, I like that reprint. I like this card a lot with the textured pattern and every the textured foiling and all that stuff. Like that reprint. Why not also reprint her alternative art? The alternative art version is still, you know in the double digits area. I think that would have been a great, I'm not, I mean, maybe it could be in this set for all I know. That would have been a great, there we go. Another good card to pull. This one, Akurismon, is one of the new cards they put in this set and it does hold significant value. So, you know, if you pull those type of cards consistently and it's like that in every box, I mean, this research and booster box is very good. And if you were looking to Maybe, you know, if you're someone who likes to flip stuff and make money, this booster box, this set might be for you. Because all of these cards are going to find a home in a lot of decks. Um, a lot of these cards are staples. That's why they're reprinting them. And on top of that, too, again, this booster box. I mean, I I've seen these booster boxes going for like dirt cheap. I'm talking like real cheap, guys. Like a lot of these cards are going to find homes. Oromon, Gammon, like all these cards are staples. Agumon, staple. Amphiamon, that's a new card, I think, in this set, too. So, I think that's it. That is it. So, let's get to the end of this video. Let's see how well this booster box did. Well, I gotta tell you guys, I've actually been very impressed with the Digimon booster boxes. They didn't just roll over and just, you know, absolutely fell in the crap here. No, they, we actually got another good, solid box here from Digimon. So, of course, the price per box, guys, $35. Total value pulled, $51.77 for a nice profit of $16.77. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! losing a little bit of money, but Yu-Gi-Oh! making a lot of money. Digimon, back-to-back -back boxes, though, where we actually see profit. This will actually go very well for them when it comes to the final numbers. All right, time for the moment of truth. Let's do a quick recap of round two. So, both boxes actually pulled a profit here. Yu-Gi-Oh! making us $29.20. Digimon making us $16.77. Which means in round two, the winner goes to Yu-Gi-Oh! That is right, guys. Yu-Gi-Oh! Evening it all up at one apiece. And it looks like we're actually about to have a really good showdown with Yu-Gi-Oh! Finally getting on the board here, but Digimon not rolling over and just taking it. Actually back-to-back -back boxes with good profit margins there. I'm very curious to see how the rest of this booster box showdown shakes up. And that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new here, and as always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I'll see you guys next time.